In this video, we are going to discuss about different types of RNA. And at the end of this video, we are going to appreciate the reason for complexity in a cell. That is, RNA is the sole reason of complexity in a particular cell. So we will begin with the central dogma. So as we know that the central dogma is DNA is the genetic material and it codes for RNA. We, we call this as a transcription and from RNA the protein is synthesized. We call that translation. So both this transcription and translation are controlled in many other ways. In this video we are going to appreciate the checkpoints in these steps due to the different types of RNA and its action. So we can classify the RNA based on the coding nature. So we can call, uh, we can classify coding RNA and non-coding RNA. So here I want to emphasize that what is coding RNA. One may think that by saying coding RNA, messenger RNA is the coding RNA. But uh, that is not the case. Messenger RNA also contains some intronic regions. These intronic regions are spliced out during mRNA splicing and the mature me messenger RNA is produced. So, uh, the better definition of coding RNA is the coding part of messenger RNA can be considered as coding RNA and the rest of the RNAs are considered as non-coding RNAs. So these operational and informational RNA are the fancy terms for non-coding and coding RNAs respectively. So we are going to appreciate the post-transcriptional gene silencing strategies by these non-coding RNAs. Okay, These non-coding RNAs are controlled gene expression post-transcriptionally that is after the mRNA is synthesized in a cell. In these processes mainly microRNA is involving. So we are going to discuss about this. So before we are going to discuss these directly, we appreciate a little history behind these discoveries. DNA sequencing reveals that there is a high proportion of repetitive and non-coding DNA in our genome. In parallel to that, uh, the major part of the abundant repetitive DNA is composed of transposable elements. The transposons are discovered by Barbara McClintock. In 1970s, an important breakthrough discovery is by R Richard Roberts and Flips A. Sharp messenger RNA splicing, that is mRNA splicing. They got Nobel Prize for this discovery. So before we thought that the whole messenger RNA is used in the protein synthesis so it is coding but the messenger RNA is also having the intronic regions and these introns are spliced out during messenger RNA splicing so this is an important discovery after that the transcriptome analysis has begun the human encode project and model organisms encode project reveals there are number of non-coding RNAs can be present in a cell. In 1990s, there's a famous experiment conducted in petunias. Petunia is a herb that produces purple color flower. So, scientists identified the gene behind the purple color of the flower. So, they decided to produce more purple color petunias. So they have synthesized the gene and introduced into the organism and produced transgenic variety. The results are shocked. Instead of purplest color, they got white color petunias. So this is how the RNA interference era begins. So there is a mechanism called RNA interference mediated by RNA induced silencing complex. Uh, so, fire and co-workers identified these mechanisms and got Nobel Prize for their discovery. After that, 
various non-coding RNAs and its functions are revealed out. By knowing the types of non-coding RNA, we came to know that in a cell, the complexity is arised due to this variety of non-coding RNA. Not surprisingly, the percentage weight of RNA is higher than the percentage weight of DNA, the whole genome. So after that, the recent discovery reveals one of the uh, non-coding RNA is competitive endogenous RNA that is CERNA and large scale transcriptome regulatory network CERNET. This discoveries shows that the complexity booms. So we are going to discuss briefly about the non-coding RNAs uh, and how the cell complexity arises due to this. Okay, before that we are going to appreciate that the results of ENCODE project. So ENCODE project reveals that 1 to 2 percentage of our genome is protein coding genes that is approximately 20,000 and nearly 20,000 pseudo genes are found as well. These pseudo genes are transcribed, translated but they stopped due to the immature stop codon or frame shift mutations so on. So this project reveals that more than 75 percentage of our genome is transcribed even though 1 to 2 percentage of our genome is really contains the protein coding genes and it also reveals that there are 200 thousands nearly long known coding RNAs are there in the transcriptome and many small non coding RNAs also these long non coding RNA and small non coding RNAs are classified mainly uh, due to its nucleotide length so mod encode is a project the same encode project but uh, in different organisms model organisms this mod encode results also supports the same that is there are relatively a less number of protein coding genes in a particular eukaryotic genome and there are uh, as much as pseudo genes as well and the most of the uh, DNA is transcribed into RNA but it won't codes for any protein so these RNAs are plays a critical role in post transcriptional gene silencing now we are going to discuss about micro RNA and post transcriptional gene regulation due to these micro RNAs so here I showed that a typical messenger RNA structure this is phi dash cap and phi dash untranslated region and the yellow one is ORF that is protein coding part of a matured messenger RNA and after that 3 dash non translated region the micro RNA a red color one can come and binds with this region that is 3 dash UTR so while binding it can stops the protein synthesis by this messenger RNA we know that this is micro RNA and this is messenger RNA and the region in which the micro RNA goes and binds into the messenger RNA is the authentic target in micro RNA there is a specific region called seed region which is important and the complementarity of the seed region determines whether the target mRNA is cleaved or not so if there is a high higher degree of complementarity the target mRNA is cleaved that is degraded that means no remnants are present in the cell but the complementarity is less that means the target mRNA is not degraded but the protein synthesis has stopped the uh, messenger RNA is still there in the cytoplasm of the cell 